Hello, my name's Liam. My gamer handle is LiamG25. Um, this is my tutorial on level 11 of Splatoon 2, the floating garden for new game plus flavor of Splatoon. Okay, so this level is a bit of a test about whether or not you can use the charger. Uh, some of these shots are a lot harder to make out of context when you've practiced the level of a bunch, but I'll do my best to make them all. So obviously the first step is to jump here on the super jump thing. Just as a note, these are designed, tutorials are designed for people who already know how to play Splatoon, but are maybe just getting into speed running and want some pro tips on how to run the routes. So the first thing you need to do when you arrive in the floating garden is to break that box. Eventually we're heading up there. Um, so you're gonna swim down and then you can just leap down to this section. Okay, you don't want to use this zipper. You actually just want to climb the wall because we're going to end up here. You're going to want to swim forward just a little bit and then do a quick flick shot in order to blow up this helmet dude. Okay, just like in Turf War, your opponent won't aggro if they don't see the laser. So you can hang out here for as long as you want to think about the shot before you actually go to make it. And I missed it. After you would get the key from him, you would send a curler up this ramp. And then hit that locked box. All right. We got it. As I said before, out of context, the shots are a lot harder to make once you have like the rhythm of the practice. But it's a similar story here. You can swim just a little bit forward, charge your shot. And this guy will only run after the reticle is in his field of view or on him. So you can just do that and then miss. Uh, the backup is to shoot the fellow right there if you do happen to miss. It is a little slower. Let's just imagine that I did hit uh, our key dude. The thing to do from there would be to send a curler down here, hop this webbing, fire an uncharged charger shot, and then just leap to the boost pad here. So coming down, you can charge from midair and blow up these boxes and then just send a little line of ink forward. Our eventual target is that fine hammer dude. You can see he's just in the lens flare there. So similar situation, he won't flee unless the reticle's on him. So you can swim up fairly close, charge, and fire. I'm being told in the chat that the name of these things are tentacooks. There you go. They're not hammer dude, key man. Before we were calling them burrito boys, which is just wrong. Uh, there's no relation to burritos whatsoever. So as you can see over there by this pink box, if the uh, Octarians are aggroed and decide to be helpful, they can actually blow up some of the boxes for you. But otherwise, you want to shoot at that crate right there in such a way that you know, the charger line gives you a vertical painting there. So this, this climb is for free once you also break the box. Once you get up there, we're going to want to send a curler down the line uh, in order to uh, hit that rail bulb down to the back. The cycle is kind of off because I'm taking my time, but when you get up, you should be able to just send it right down like that and then swim by. Okay, so remember the aggro thing? We're gonna shoot that guy and we can have our charge ready to go well in advance, jump off the rail and then just bring it up to shoot him. Easy peasy. You can ignore that guy. He's just a tourist. He doesn't know where he is. He's looking for directions. All right, this section's easy. When well, as soon as you land, curler. Off the races. I like to just paint the balloons because I like blue. All right, so here you can jump off the rail, charge, break the box, jump up to this box, and then just do a quick snapshot over on that guy, grabbing the key. Uh, if he gets away, uh, remember that you can hide in the ink and swim up here, and then you have a quick moment to shoot the tentacook. Uh, who will be doing his little fun tentacook dance here like this. All right, but you've got the key this time. So a quick shot will get you there and you can do a curler and up and away. So onto the next section here, there's a, a fairly difficult skip called the skip with no name. Um, it's just beyond that pole. If you want to try it out, basically you're trying to line up that angle with that angle there. Uh, it's sort of an advanced technique, but for now I would recommend just avoiding these fellows and then doing the ramps. Try to take issues as close as you can by limiting the length of the stage you're actually traveling over. 
A curler down this row will get you settled. And then in this section, we want to be shooting at this uh, tentacook with the red balloon there. Same story as before. It's going to aggro once he knows you're there. So just do an uncharged shot there to get close. And miss. Okay, sweet. So then you have one last final chance to uh, hit him over there before it becomes a tragedy, uh, which is what this run has become. Uh, this is like the reset point for the ILs, but we're going to turf war this out um, because the tutorial is almost over. <laughs> Again, for whatever reason, I find these shots way easier to make um, in the context of the run because I guess I have my flow together. But there you go. Finding balance and keeping your stride is an important part. So then after you uh, rid Splatoon 2 speedrunning of Cancer, Look how neat and tidy I <laughs> managed to perform that section. You're just going to throw a curler down. Grab the zapfish. All right. So that's level 11 of Splatoon 2. It's uh, it's a fun and satisfying level if you know how to use the charger good and you've got your snapshots, your flick shots practiced. It's uh, a horrible learning curve if you're like me and thought you would never have to use the charger ever. Anyways, my name is Liam Gallagher. Thanks for watching my tutorial. I've got tutorials on all the other speedrunning levels for New Game Plus. So check out that the rest of the links in this playlist.